Alright, so to add the beautiful blue crystal to this air cuff, <laughs> if it doesn't roll away on me, we need to use some 28 gauge wire. Alright, so how you do this process of wire weaving, uh, and this might be really hard to explain, especially because I can't zoom in too well. But what you want to do is take this wire and weave it through here. Can you see where I'm weaving it? Take the wire. Weave it through here. Then go basically go around the wire and leave a big tail coming off just makes the wire easier to handle while you're working and then pull it tight on both ends and basically just wrap a few coils around this wire so it stays on oh like that see little coils all right so once you have that done you there's going to be uh, two directions that the wire goes in um, this wire go if it goes and coils again, it's gonna always go underneath the ear cuff to coil, and then this one is always going to go over top of that wire to coil. It's how a coil works, and so this is important because when you're putting the crystal on, it takes up it's kind of bulky and it can get in, in the way of the wire and your ear and make the ear cuff really loose and fall off. <laughs> I had this problem when I was first starting off making ear cuffs and so what I learned was that you want to use the wire that's over top, like coming over top of the ear cuff and you want to use that to put your crystal on. So I'm just going to do that. So once you've done a few coils and secured the uh, thinner wire on. You can just slide your crystal on and then there we go and then do some coils on the other side to secure it. It's a really intuitive uh, process to wire weave. It's kind of a bit like simple stitching and sewing and so if this video isn't too clear hopefully you guys can figure it out on your own just through doing it but if not, feel free to leave me a question and I will try and answer. Alright, so I made a few coils there and then you can just snip the wire. Or um, actually, we're going to continue down the ear cuff with this wire to secure it and then up and back around. That was just a little... Alright, so we're going to snip the ear cuff. Snip the ear cuff. There we go. And you're going to have a little piece, a little tail of wire. Don't know if you can see it. You see the little tail there? And if it touches your skin, it's going to probably be annoying and scratchy. So you want to snip that off as close as you can. And then if there's still a little bit poking out, you can try and wrap it more with the flat nose pliers. But if, it, if it's just kind of impossible to do, you can sand it down. And yeah. And then with the longer tail that we have here that's not snipped off, we want to weave it all the way down here and then wrap it around these where these two wires intersect to secure them together and you can kind of just wrap them however you end up wrapping them as long as they're secure so it doesn't really matter and just try to make it aesthetically pleasing and try and make the coil the coils evenly uh, apart for a more uniform design and so yeah once you uh, secure it down here you can just weave it back up on this side 
and then go back through the crystal and do a few coils back where you started and snip and you're done. Alright, so I'm just going to do that right now. Alright, so there we go. And when you do these coils, you can do them tightly together, which is really a pretty effect. Or you can do them spaced apart, which saves on wire and is faster. So that's what I'm going to do. And be careful while you're doing this not to pull your ear cuff too tight, because you will misshape it, and you'll have to fix it again. But that's okay, it's not too hard to fix. Alright. From uh, just an interesting fact, from what I've read online, um, wire weaving and wire jewelry and all of that is quite an ancient technique used by our ancestors to create jewelry. And so when you're making things like this, it's kind of a nod back to earlier times, simpler times, when materials were just some wire and maybe a because you can also hammer wire to make it flat, so maybe a rock to hammer wire, and I've definitely used a rock. So before I got my hammer, but um, yeah, like times before tools, <laughs> and there's so many intricate designs I've seen on the internet, and way more intricate designs that I've made personally, and it's such an interesting and beautiful art form that, um, yeah, I truly, I love doing this. It's kind of um, meditative. Okay, just listen to the birds outside like I am now and wire weave yourself an ear cuff, an aqua blue stone. All right, so now we're back at the crystal. So what you wanna do is take your wire and go back through the hole in the crystal. <laughs> All right, there we go. And you just weave it on through. And then now we're on the other side, so simply make a few coils to secure it. I'd say about maybe three coils should be good enough. And pull them kind of tight, but not too tight where your wire will break, because the spin wire does break if you pull it. And there you go. And just snip it or snip. And fold down that little tail. There we go. And that one folded pretty well, but like I said, if it's sticking up, you can always sand it with like a nail file or something, like a metal nail file or something. But yeah, so here we have the finished ear cuff. And I'll post some pictures of ear cuffs that have sold long ago in my shop so that you can see what it looks like when the ear cuffs are worn. Well that wraps up this tutorial. I hope you guys had fun and learned something new and if you decide to make your own ear cuff I'd really love to see so feel free to make a video response or just send me a picture and I'd love to see it. So yeah and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video if you liked it, and leave me a comment or a question, whatever. Alright, thanks, bye.